All right, my friends, how are you all doing? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a brand new episode of our Community Zoo build. Uh, my friends, if you don't know what this is, last episode is linked above. If you do know and you want to go and watch it again, it's there for you as well. That was officially episode one when we got this beauty that you see on the screen now uh, built. Uh, it was the beginning of the story. You guys have been getting your comments in and this is what we come up with. Uh, we weren't left with too much money, um, but... The minute that it was all said and done, we pressed that play button and we moved on. But uh, yeah, if you're new to the channel, you want to find out exactly what this series is all about, make sure you go and check the last video and the one before that, and it kind of explains all the rules. But uh, the, the hint is in the name, it is a community zoo build where you guys at home are calling all the shots. Now, let's get into today's episode because we've got a lot to get through. Uh, once again, my friends, we're not going to be doing any speed build uh, in today's episode. We're going to do it very much like we did last time out because we've got a lot of stuff to cover and uh, there's going to be a lot of talking a lot of breaking stuff down and uh, a lot of the reason for this is because you've been getting your comments in and where you guys do control the zoo um, there's always going to be a lot to get through sort of at the beginning of each episode so i'm going to throw it out there now in case you're not interested uh, in the description um, section i am going to be placing the times at which each section starts now today's episode is going to be broken up into probably four different sections uh, in a moment we're going to do the results of the poll uh, then after that we're going to go through your comments and feedback then we're going to go to the build section and then we're going to finish with a live section where we potentially add some more animals to the uh, to the conservation center because uh, you've been getting your comments in on stuff you would like to see um, in the zoo what you'd like added to the project and stuff like that so uh, without further ado let's get right in to today's episode now first and foremost we do need to reveal the results of the polls now as as you can see the conservation park is on play it is running because we're not currently building and it hasn't moved forward 10 years and that ladies and gents is you're going to see the result of the first poll on your screen now um, everybody pretty much said no 67% of you at home decided not to move forward uh, 10 years with the zoo to leave it uh, where it is and uh, just kind of let the zoo naturally progress as we go through this early section the thing about this is during this little talking section where we look at the polls, where we look at the feedback and the comments, we could potentially be building some money ready for when I get to the build section, which is going to be fantastic. Um, but the minute we start building, obviously, I will press that pause button and whatever money we've got is the money that I can use. Um, poll number two, my friends, we have, do have another poll that uh, I put out in last episode, and that was to pick a name for the zoo. And uh, we had two suggestions. It was Jammy Conservation Park and Genesis Conservation Park. And you're going to see the result of that on the screen now with 61 percent of the vote jammy conservation park is going to be the name of this fantastic facility so from next episode that will obviously be in the title it will be all over the shop um do give me some ideas ladies and gents of potential signs that you would like to see for the zoo uh what you think would uh, fit this perfectly obviously i guess with jammy being you know an african swahili word for community that might play into it quite nicely and i do like the fact that uh, you've gone with jammy i like both names and uh, both name suggestions but jammy really does fit the project very nicely what with it mean in community in swahili so that is the poll results done and dusted that's the nitty gritty stuff ladies and gents there are going to be more polls at the end of today's episode and during the course of it so do look forward to that and make sure you vote on them when we get to it so that's part one of today's episode done now we're going to move on into part two and that's your comments and feedback Okay, my friends, so let's crack on, shall we, as uh, the guests to continue to enjoy the uh, Jammy Conservation Park. Let's talk about your comments and your feedback. Now, obviously, with this being a community zoo, community build, you guys caught all the shots, and you've been doing exactly that, my friends. And uh, you've got really, really involved in the comment section again, and it was nice to see as well a lot of you returning that had been watching the episode right from the introduction. So that's really great to see, uh, and it's really, really, um, you know, I'm absolutely loving the fact that you're returning because you know we to make this zoo um to make this zoo work you guys have to be involved in the best way possible now the first comment that we're going to get to is a bunch of comments and it is to do with the family name suggestion now in last episode i put it out to you guys that we needed a suggestion for a family name now what i'm gonna do what a decision i've made is that the two zookeepers that we currently have in the facility are going to be the people that started this family run business so the two zookeepers are going to be the ones that take on this family name the rest of the staff will have been employed over time 
time by them. Um, so we are going to come to the first comment, which is by Louise, whose surname I am not going to try and pronounce. I don't want to butcher that. But she has left us a comment saying, as Jamie is an African name, I think it would be nice to have a family be African as well. They've moved to Europe and started the Jamie Conservation Park. Therefore, we'll need an African name for the family. I have no knowledge about African family names. So maybe if someone knows a fitting name, he says she could leave it underneath. Uh, so as a result, people did leave some comments. And I, I really, really like the fact that um, they've already fed into little bits of uh, the potential story uh, of the of you know of this facility of the zoo. It's nice to see that the zoo the, the story is carrying over and people are really reading each other's stuff. Um, so the first one comes from Night Clive and they left the comment. I've got a friend from Kenya. Family name is Makaza, so maybe something in this direction. Uh, and just to kind of link with that, uh, Jer the Nata actually kind of uh, left a comment um, based on what Night Clive had said. Um, as you can see, the whole comment's up on the screen for you to read should you wish, but I'm just going to take the bits that I see. And the, they said, uh, saw Night Clive's post and looked up the what Makaza means. Uh, seems to mean chief administrator of God. So a family with such a name opening and running a park such as this seems pretty on brand. There's a lot uh, There's a lot of lists for name meanings out there for the first names. Whatever fits best, I think, if the meanings uh, tend to be more on the caring, good, respectful of nature side, uh, the things then were working with something special, which I really like that addition uh, to what Night Clive had already said. And then another person to have left a comment regarding the family name was Ethan Harris. And he said, some suggestions uh, named after some of my African friends' last names uh, could be Chimpaka or uh, Chestalo. I like the fact that he put the pronunciation there for me because I am terrible at pronouncing things. So there's another couple of names. So what I am going to do, my friends, as we've got three very good suggestions there, is I'm going to bang a poll above for you guys to vote on right now. And basically, I want you to pick your favourite of the those three African names and then next episode the zookeepers the husband and wife I guess you could say will be given that lovely beautiful name so that's the first little bit of the comments and feedback done and dusted and you've got a poll there to vote on make sure you do it's really really important uh, now we're going to move on my friends with the rest of the comments and these are more about the improvements and additions uh, that people want to see uh, to the conservation park uh, from sort of like today's episode and it is the bit I'm going to do um, you know between this and now and we'll come back for the build episode uh, a build part of the episode and you'll be able to see what i have managed to achieve the reason i've chosen to do that and not do a speed build again ladies and gents is once again to keep the time down i think that when we get a bit further on in the zoo i'll be able to do you know speed builds and stuff but for now i think this is probably the best way for us to make the episodes work um i know it can be a little bit frustrating because obviously you want to you guys want to see as much as possible and a lot of people learn stuff from speed builds but i promise that i will bring those back just at this early stage it's easier to do it this way so the first comment i'm going to read out my friends comes from olga I never left a message saying, when you showed the little cafe place, I immediately thought the toilets could be placed between the shops, but entered from the outside of the building. I don't know if it would still work now that you've moved the food and drinks closer to, uh, closer to each other, but that's my suggestion. Also, I don't. Uh, they left a little thing about like a little mistake that I made, but it's not a problem. I quite like it. Um, I do like a bit of... Um, you know, problematic solving where this is concerned. Um, and then uh, they left a little bit at the end saying, and, oh, by the way, the yellow frogs uh, reproduce faster sell. And I remember uh, selling some extra ones to make money for uh, the better start. Now, one thing I am going to say is in last episode, I said I was only going to purchase animals using conservation points. Now, um, the reason I said that is because silly old me with the other projects I've been doing haven't been trading the animals away for money because I've been doing it for conservation i realize you can actually trade animals away for money so um that could be a good way to raise cash so um i guess it's something we could potentially look into in the future but uh obviously they would like to see us you know get some more frogs uh, in this uh you know zoo today so when we get to that live section let's see if we can find some to add to the zoo to potentially start that breeding program and maybe help with the funds and if not with you know monetary funds at least help with the conservation funds and the other part that they mentioned uh was that of the toilets ladies and gents now you will remember this kind of got put in last minute um you know last episode because we needed one it wasn't well thought out so what they're suggesting is we stick it in the middle with those two shops uh moving uh either side 
and I think that's a really good idea. It's a really good use of space and uh, will work very, very nicely. Obviously, there's a lot of clipping through walls, which I don't like to see, but it's one of those things. But uh, yeah, we'll move these shops either side and then we'll stick the toilet in the middle. I think that's something that we'll do uh, during the course of the build section. Um, so that's that's quite a good idea. Now we're going to move on to Alexis Doris, and uh, she has left a comment saying, "Family Reptile Park turned amazing zoo resonates so hard with the origin story of Steve Irwin and Australia Zoo, and I'm here for it." As for the walls, yellow and green are popular thematically with reptiles for the guest facing walls. Uh, walls in the backs of habitats might be painted murals of their natural habitat, so maybe using the plain plant decals painted green against uh, a blue or light green uh, background. Um, they mentioned about moving forward. But as we know, we're not going to move forward 10 years. So I'm not going to read that bit out. Um, but what I am going to do, ladies and gents, is any of your suggestions where the squares were concerned, I'm going to carry them over to when we do eventually move forward 10 years. And then I will tally them all up uh, and I will basically um, go from there uh, where that's concerned. Um, they've also put that um, I love the premise of this project. I hope the community keeps it going for a long time. I really hope you all do as well. But, you know, early signs are very, very promising. And then uh, as a reply, to uh, Alexis Doris, uh, Jen, Jen and Nate are very active in the comment section once again. Uh, replied with, as someone who was watching the crocodile hunting religiously as a kid and has long held him in high regard, I will admit that um, definitely would have influenced my thought process for the suggestion. I like the decals idea too. I've seen a, a lot of places alongside the old faithful rock wall, um, so that's quite cool. And then they go on to say, at any rate, I'm glad the suggestion is resonating with folks. I think the execution is excellent. I love the possibilities this community can come up with, and we found. And we've found Dan that in good hands. My friend, I will give you a little bow and I appreciate your high, high praise. And let's hope that I can keep up um, the good, good stuff as we move along. Uh, do feel free, my friends, to, uh, you know, pause on those comments should you wish to read it all. I'm just trying to, like, get through them all so that I can tell you the ideas and the things that I'm going to try to put in place in today's episode. Um, next up, my friends. We come to a big comment from uh, Nightclive, very active on this series. Nice to see. Uh, left a really good comment last time and has done the same again. Uh, this one, it's quite a comment, this. There's quite a lot to break down. There's been some, um, you know, shorthand used and stuff. So I'm going to try to um, understand this the best I can. But um, they basically said, uh, this big house is a great idea, especially the story around it. But in truth, it blew the budget. Very, very true. It really did. Left us with about 5,000 at the end, didn't it, last episode but uh hopefully that money is slowly increasing uh, as i go through all these comments uh, so we definitely need to wait um gladly the galapagos tortoise is quite a guest getter i would prefer to take um to take number three but later they're obviously referring to the square uh, the habitats even if it's completely inside um needs a little shelter or spot where the animals can't be seen uh, being visible everywhere puts those creatures on stress level we should avoid i'm not sure our stress system works in the game but in real life those animals would uh, already go nuts about the fact that they're naked walls all around and no sunlight now i am going to just pick you up on a little something where the sunlight is concerned um reptiles are kind of like um, they don't really apply where that's concerned. Reptiles, especially uh, snakes, lizards, that sort of thing, do very, very well indoors with no natural sunlight. Obviously, every animal would much prefer to be out in the wild, but, um, you know, reptile facilities... Uh, well known for being able to replicate those conditions inside and as for like these animals anyway apart from the gharials that potentially might get an outdoor um you know section to their enclosure later on um you know the abar the uh abral tortoise has got the windows and obviously toby can get outside so i actually think we're pretty much covered there but a fair comment though i will take it i do take that on board um but obviously i'm doing some research as i go along myself um and then they said, so we should give them some outside area later. By now, removing one window at the Garials and a little cave for the tortoise should be enough. That's fair enough. Um, the exhibits. I like frogs like the next guy, but I would keep the reptile house for exclusively reptiles. I would prefer the yellow anaconda. I'm not sure what the DO is and most of all the gear. Uh, I've got other plans for the frogs. Just let me say re rainforest house. Now that is a fair comment. Obviously, um, they are amphibians. They're not reptiles, so to speak, but you do find them in reptile houses. I think for now, because we don't have the space to build um 
we don't have the space to build a rainforest as which is a suggestion you're putting forward and i know the community does control this but because we've already got the frogs here i suggest we just keep the ones we've got for now um maybe don't add any more frogs just stay with the ones that we've got um and then obviously later on down the line should you guys fancy um you know adding a rainforest house and me moving the frogs we've got over into that that's fair enough because you the community are in control but i don't feel the need to remove the animals that we've got now um i just think you know because obviously we put them in last episode but from now on i completely get that we won't put frogs in this facility um so uh, next up how to continue uh, to follow the story the actual park uh, should be behind the house therefore we should buy square free uh i don't really need to read this really because it's talking about squares uh, and we're not really going to bother with that but another suggestion there for a potential future episode where a lima island is concerned um a few questions can you define next episode where north and where south uh, is it would be much easier to explain some ideas with this definition yeah of course i can now that is fair enough and that's actually a really really uh, good suggestion a really good comment now uh, if we were to basically look at the level from this way which is this is you know the in um door uh, this is north this is south east and west so uh behind the facility essentially this is north that's how i'm going to treat it it's the easiest way to do it for not only myself but for you guys at home as well so that's a fantastic comment thanks for sending that in night live i will be sure to put a lot of that into action in today's episode um, a lot of the comments it has to be said are about just home improvements where the reptile house is concerned um, and um, that's fair enough obviously we ran out of money last time so couldn't finish it off so the next comment comes in from Tristan Olsen they said I love the start of this series so far I think it should make the walls in the crocodile habitat really light green uh, also color the donation boxes because I think the default blue looks ugly in uh, in a white building totally agree with that I asked them for suggestions where the color was concerned and they said to white with a potential other color so i'm actually going to do white and green because i think that works quite nice with the reptile house i'll be sure to change that uh, and you'll see that in the build section uh next up comes from natajack gaming and they put in the croc enclosure on the walls uh paint it go away green and put some rocks and vines fair enough that's cool really like that idea um and I'll be sure to put that into place. Um, next uh, bit is comes from Primal Gamer, and they put, I'm liking the Reptile House so far, and thanks for using my name. Uh, just a little suggestion, most zoos will try to have natural paintings on the walls so they aren't cage-looking, so like some fake plants and more colour to the walls. Pretty much what other people have been saying is a um, you know, uh, very fair comment as well. Uh, you don't have to do this, uh, but in Columbus Zoo, they have in their Reptile House a huge snake skeleton hanging from the ceiling that goes through like half of the building that looks sweet that's a really cool idea whether or not i'm going to be able to make it we will have to wait and see but uh it's something i could potentially attempt if we have enough money of course because uh your money can run out um but a great comment obviously i would be sure to be putting that into action uh next up we've got another comment that comes in from ethan harris a guy who commented on the names earlier uh he's put some tips to add realism if you're doing the playground next episode you could put one of those african tarps across the top of it uh, basically every playground i know has one of those with shade uh, i saw in another comment that the family could be african if you do go ahead with that idea it would be cool to have some subtle african decorations in the entry plaza uh, such as the tarps and other wall deco in the reptile center so just add a little extra detail i'm enjoying this series so far uh, and it's only just started can't wait for the next episode thank you my friend you are currently watching the next episode and uh, you made it in um but yeah really really cool comments really appreciate that and the last one we're going to read out my friends is from bryn jones and he's put what a fantastic first video Zoo looks awesome. Love the idea and storyline. Uh, to add a bit more detail, maybe you could uh, place some education boards and a map on the wall of the restaurant uh, that you can see when you enter. Uh, that's a really, really cool idea, actually. We just run out of money and couldn't put education in. So it's just a bit yeah it was a bit of a pain really and the map idea is really really cool as well uh, they go on to suggest that you know family name and stuff but obviously where we're going with an african name we're just going to kind of ignore that little bit and they talk about expansion as well um and uh, they asked actually will this be a weekly series or just when you can now actually i'm going to answer that question even though we are in this bit um i am planning to make this a weekly episode episodic series uh, one a week because of the amount of uh, work that it takes and i do have another project going on um but obviously if things come up do respect the fact that it might be a little delay but i am aiming to put this out every friday or um 
every Friday or Sunday. It will be one of those days each week, uh, my friends. So um, I've got all your comments. I have all your feedback. I guess now all it leaves is for me to jump in and do the build section. And so you can see it, my friends. We are going to pause the game now because I am ready to build. And you can see we have $23,891 in the bank. Let's see what we can do with that money. And let's see how much of your planning and how much of your feedback and ideas I can get into this zoo. So my friends, we are back here in the zoo and this is the build section. Now, obviously I am not built, well, I guess we could say this is part of the build, so that's why I've not pressed play. But the minute I've finished talking about what I've done, uh, you know, and if I don't need to add any more stuff, the play button will be pressed and then we will move in to the live section of today's video uh, where we add some animals. That's kind of how it's going to work uh, from, you know, from, from the day dot really. But I just kind of wanted to put that forward to you that when we are talking about the build section, when we have to make the episode, uh, like we are today uh, that's how it's going to play out basically so I got quite a lot done I actually um, managed to really add a lot of the suggestions that you guys put forward to me uh, didn't quite get it all finished uh, as you can see the money is very very low we pretty much used twenty thousand um, dollars to get this work done uh, just shy of I am very conscious of not using every single penny just in case we get to a point where our outgoings are more than our ingoings. Um, you know, at the end of the day, there's a lot that you guys can control, but you're not physically sitting here and looking at the game and looking at the uh, finances. If that's something that you would like to see every episode, though, so that you can make those management managerial decisions, then feel free to let me know and I can make that happen. I just need to know exactly, you know, what you guys want to see and how much you want to see. Something I am going to do every episode episode as well is i'm going to let you know of issues that the zoo is facing okay if it's money if it's uh, cleansiness if it's uh, staff shortages and then you can leave your comments on how to fix that because like i've said a million times it's a community zoo and you guys are controlling absolutely everything where this is concerned you know if new staff need employing you need to tell me that they need employing um the, the, i think the only way I would probably go above you where that is concerned is if we were to add an exhibit and we needed a zookeeper. But um, I'm pretty sure you guys will know to tell me to do stuff like that anyway. But anyway, let's uh, let's talk about the build part of today's episode. So then we can press that play button and move on with the live section uh, and add a few more animals. Uh, the ones that you guys have suggested and the ones that you guys want to see. So um, what have I managed to do, ladies and gents? So first and foremost, I've changed this little bit here. We've put a little we're going to basically have crossings uh, either side here and it just walks it just works a bit better where this is concerned uh, i've added this little uh, bit of wall here we're going to put these um, gates in obviously i haven't added it all because money was a bit of an issue uh, started detailing this building so we started putting the guttering in uh, as you know one of the comments was to do um you know some education so i have done exactly that uh and i've done a bit of cleaning up here as well so we put this um you know bedded you know flower uh, pot in um this um this is a map uh but it i know it doesn't really look like what we need now a ricey i believe made this and i thought that we could use it for now until um i have time to maybe make my own i can make stuff like this it just takes a long long time and um i really wanted to get this episode together and i didn't really want to spend hours and hours and hours just making a map but the way i kind of looked at this is this is kind of we could use this as like a historical type map uh where it explains you know what this land was used for um you know when they came in uh maybe the red building could be the facility you know where the facility stands and you know this this sort of stuff so we got a map there so there, that's a couple of things that were really put my way um so we changed inside here we've moved these shops now i've got a little bit of a problem is that i haven't these pieces are too big to go down here and here so i really need to try and uh find a way to sort that out but uh, we've moved those and we've done that because obviously we had this toilet block suggestion. Um, it was a bit of a pain, I'm going to be honest, to fit in here, but I managed to do it. We've managed to make it fit. Um, it is there, and uh, so I actually think that it looks a, not lo a lot nicer there than that silly little block that we used to have off the side. And I uh, think it works really, really nice, actually. As you can see, um, you know, people were asking me to tidy this up, and so I've done exactly that. I've done all the uh, beds, the planted beds now. Uh, we've done another tree over here. Obviously, I've done this, but haven't put the plants in because I was watching the money. Um, there is going to be a playground in here, but 
that's going to cost a lot of money. And so that's one of the reasons why I didn't get it done last time and I haven't got it done this time. But uh, when we do raise some cash, uh, that is where that is what's going to be in here someone actually told me to do like a load of planting in here but i think they may have missed the comment of this being a playground from last episode so yeah that's exactly what's going to happen there ladies and gents so i actually think outside is starting to look really really pretty obviously there's a lot still needs finishing off obviously all these little gaps need filling in um the car park needs doing but um i think for now we're actually really getting somewhere and the detail levels are starting to look amazing obviously we're going for realism and i I think that to some extent we are achieving it we've also put a little education uh post out here for toby as well because we didn't have one outside and i've also put one for the um for the iguana because uh, obviously you can look through the window and see him here so i thought that was a nice little touch to add that as uh, education was something that someone told me to concentrate on but uh let's go in to the facility now ladies and gents because this is where you asked me to add the majority of the detail now I've started. I think that I'm getting somewhere. I think that it's starting to look really, really nice. Um, and I think that your your ideas worked. They really worked. That has to be said. Um, I am denied a few over a few times about this, but um, I think I've made it work. Um, and I, I obviously I am going to you know throw some stuff to you so that you can get your thinking caps on and you know potentially make changes or you know ask me to do certain things. But uh, yeah, I think we've done a really really nice job. So first thing that you really asked me to do were that the guest facing walls were made green. Um, go away green didn't really look that nice. In here so i have just gone with a slightly darker shade but i think that it really really works um i didn't add the vines in here because i was so busy adding all of the detail out there that obviously money became a bit of an issue but i do remember that someone said that we should add some vines um you know in here and i think on the back wall is potentially you know on these two walls is potentially where they would look the nicest i think this wall over here we don't really need to worry about i added a few more little details in here uh, i rocked up around the um entrance for the staff and i put another flower uh, pot in there some more rocks and some like wooden stuff just to really sort of detail it a little bit more um and i also put like a grate in the bottom there in case it ever needed to be drained um because of, we are going for realism and these things are drained to be cleaned out and stuff so i've added that in there so um yeah i think we've got we're coming along quite nicely where the garial uh enclosure is concerned obviously this is a big thing i've added all these details on the outsides i've tried to add this to the corners because i think that's where they look nice uh, and i've added, added some bins in here um whether or not you like these bins uh let me know uh i just i'm going with all the generic stuff to start with if you want anything changed then just ask, uh, just tell me not even ask just tell me because you guys are in control uh so yeah i've done all this detail into the windows uh i've done it on all of them and then i've just done these trees uh and flowers and stuff and i actually think they look really really cool it really brings some character um to uh to this project and uh, as far as the education is concerned you will see that i've added a little bit more to them i've added a speaker now on the bottom so it looks like it's an interactive board um and i think that adds a nice little touch where that's concerned but also the speaker means we get double education so people are really learning about the animals uh, as you can see i changed these to white and green like uh, someone asked me to do and then we move on forward uh, ladies and gents now I've started detailing all around the uh, tops and bottoms of all of these uh, big enclosures as well as doing all of this work and putting in these planters, education, and uh, yeah, it's coming along really, really nicely. Um, this big tree in the middle, um, there is actually a little space there. There will be a little bit of clipping with the people, but um, how nice does that look? It looks like a fake tree like growing up into uh you know out of the out of the floor into the ceiling put a couple of like little lights above it to really light it up and then we've done the same over here just done all of this planting uh done these beds um all the, the work around the top of the enclosures uh, a lot another one down here i've made this look like it's growing over the side of the enclosure as well um to really really give it this cool cool look now uh another thing i've done is i've boxed in the um the staff entrance to toby's exhibit um one of the big reasons i did this was because um we guests wouldn't basically the guests wouldn't uh go in here would they the other thing i've realized though ladies and gents is since changing this door um our keepers can't get in here 
So I need to find a way of changing that so that the keeper can get in here as well. Um, um, it's uh, it's going to be a really frustrating to try and sort this out because obviously I really think it works so, so nicely at the minute. Uh, and it is a pain that the keeper can't get through but it might just be a simple case of putting in one of these doorways putting a door on it and um, hoping that it works essentially but you know at the minute the indoors isn't ever going to get sorted out but as a result of um, you know the keeper not being able to get in there uh, but that's something we can look at uh, down the line um, so where was we yep was looking at Toby's exhibit um, I do need to add and still need to add a nice wooden trim to the top to really finish it off but um, I think it looks pretty nice this one here a bigger tree with nice trunks all growing out the bottom and it goes all around the bin uh, some more sort of like plants uh, up on the walls and stuff um, I think we need, obviously need to add a little bit more plant in there uh, make it a bit denser like these um, this is actually an education board um, I've put this up on the wall and we've sunk a TV into it so people will actually look at it and interact with it um, but I think that's a nice piece to put on the wall essentially because uh you know it is a reptile house educates people uh and looks really realistic moving along more sort of like woodwork all around the top um we've done all these trunks again um we've got an open wall here i think i've left this for maybe a bit more education should you guys think uh, it's necessary uh more planting and stuff in that corner and then um yep yeah, we continue to work around here uh this looks like we've got a nice trunk coming out the middle of it more over here with the bed another sort of bin area there and then we've got one this side and one this side to really sort of like square it off and as you can see i've put the trim i've managed to put the trim over the top of this now uh, the only thing i haven't done that you guys uh, one of the things that you guys asked me to do was put a cave um, in this enclosure the big reason for that is that um, as long as the animal can hide somewhere um, then they won't get too stressed now the thing is this tortoise is quite far away and from what i was reading um they really wouldn't mind that much they wouldn't really uh you know get that stressed and plus they can come around the back here if they do want to hide and they can hide behind here and they've actually got plenty of places to you know hide if they wished uh they can come around here as well so i just didn't really feel the need to put that cave in um yeah obviously you guys are controlling this zoo so if you really really want that then you make a point of saying that you really really want it and i'll put it in but i kind of I kind of, you know, read between the lines of your comment and, uh, you know, I think that you said something along the lines if they didn't have anywhere to hide, but I think they have. I think that the tortoise has got somewhere to hide uh, where that's concerned. As you can see, a lot like Toby's indoor exhibit, we've put this green on the wall over here as well, just to finish it off. And uh, I've done it on all of the walls that are guest facing, uh, basically, because that's how you uh, said it should be. And uh, from what I was reading, that's how it should be. So, yeah, I think we've done... A hell of a lot of work, ladies and gents. It's really, really starting to look like something special now, uh, is this uh, exhibit. Thanks to all of your comments and suggestions. And uh, yeah, I'm really, really happy with it, uh, ladies and gents. So I guess the only thing we've got left to do is just come outside. Um, oh, the only other thing is that I've started to square this off. This is going to be the Conservation Club, which is essentially going to be where you could, you know, sponsor to save the animals and, you know, sponsor the centre to help them uh, fund new projects and uh, get involved basically so that's a little thing that we're going to be putting in there um but yeah my friends i guess the last thing that we really really need to do is hit that play button and i'll see you in a jiffy for the live section of today's episode Okay, my friends, so here we are in the live section of today's episode, and uh, this really is just going to be a case of um, adding the animals and uh, covering all the bases where poles are concerned and asking you guys to get involved. Now, the first thing I'm going to do before we put any animals in is I want to highlight a couple of problem areas uh, for you guys to talk to me about between next uh, between this episode and the next one. So the one big problem area is that of cleansiness. Uh, there's a lot of litter um, in the zoo and so uh, at the moment we only have one um, janitor. So it's something to think about ladies and gents i'm just going to throw that out there for you because i am getting a lot of stuff come up that uh, we've got a lot of problems where uh, litter is concerned the other one as you can see there is that we don't have a security guard uh, in the in the conservation park either and so that's maybe something for you guys to think about is that um 
we are essentially running the risk of things getting damaged um so we might need that as well so two things there staff that's the only real problem where this is concerned at the moment is that we are getting a lot of rubbish and we don't have any security so if you want to make any comments about that if you want to uh, leave your suggestions then feel free so that's the problems covered everything else is working it seems to be fine it's hunky dory at the minute but let's now jump in and uh, put in some more animals basically and uh, cover all those bases where that sort of stuff is concerned now we already have an iguana in here we have a boa constrictor in here we don't need to worry about that um we obviously have one Alabra tortoise uh, over here, and I was thinking about potentially uh, adding another one. I think that that would be a good thing to do. Um, you know, breeding uh, is a big thing um, where uh, where the conservation uh, you know zoo is concerned. So um, let's, ladies and gents, potentially add another one, shall we? So we've got a female at the minute. So uh, let's see what uh, males are available. Uh, on the trading at the moment so if we were to, to select the elaborate giant tortoise uh, do we have any males available we do um, none of them are particularly amazing um, oh fertility is pretty low there um, I tell you what we'll adopt we'll adopt Ranako um, and we will place Ranako in here uh with his brand new girlfriend and so we now have two tortoises uh in here and uh that will be a lovely little addition um to this enclosure ladies and gentlemen we're not going to wait and uh to see uh Renaco. we will just let that crack on uh, but that is some more conservation points uh spent so we do need to keep an eye on that um let's move on oh just this is i feared this would happen because the zookeeper can't get in here. Um, what do we do? How do we combat that? If I put a door there, it's going to look really ugly, isn't it? It's going to look really, really ugly. But oh, it's one of those things. I'll have to get to that in a moment. Um... And Keeper was just in there, so maybe he's picked up on it. Maybe he can do it through the wall. Um, I have seen it happen before, so we just have to wait and see. Now, um, as for Toby, we're not going to get Toby a girlfriend just yet. Um, it was, you know, I think someone did say about potentially getting him one, but um, until a lot of you really request it, I am not going to worry about that because other animals have been requested uh, more so um, than that guy getting a girlfriend unfortunately um so the big one that someone requested was the gear uh the gear monsters so let's see if we have any available uh on the list shall we so if we go down to uh gear monsters uh right we do they're quite pricey that has to be said so let's see what the quality is of these guys um the top two, oh, actually, do you know what? 50-50 isn't too bad. Uh, it's one of the cheaper ones, but it's because he's slightly older. Um, I've got to think about money here, so do you know what? We're going to go with the two. We're not going to go with you. We're going to go with the cheap, cheap one and the mid-range the mid -range one. So we are going to put the gear monsters Um we are going to send them here. Uh, right, so what we've got to do is we've got to look at all of uh, the things that we need to do now for the gear monsters. So 35 to 42 and 15 to 25. So let's sort that out first. So there we go, that sorted that out. Was that the right temperature? I hope it was. I'm just going to double check that again. 35 to 42, no. Nowhere near the right temperature. <laughs> so let's put it about there. And that will be lovely jubbly. That will work very, very nicely. Um, the humidity is still not right. No, I was, Jesus, how have I managed to get that so wrong? It's like I didn't look, innit? 
It's like I didn't look. So yes, to get it down. Right, that's lovely jubbly. Right, so this is going to be a 360 exhibit. Um, these weren't what I was planning to put in here. I was going to put the tree frogs, but um, as, as, a, as a comment was made about the tree frogs, uh, you know, not going in here, that's exactly what we're going to do. But uh, let's get the education for these guys sorted out. Uh, we've got one either side uh, for this exhibit. So that's quite nice. So let's sort that out. Um, and then let's add all the little bits and bobs to make this really, really nice. So um, hide in place. Um, I think we'll go with that one. Um, basking lamp we will go yeah we'll put, actually put the one that's near that and then um, we'll go with we'll go with that one because it's in the other side of the exhibit and uh, yeah so there you have it ladies and gents we have our gear monster male and female and uh, let's hope they start to reproduce so that we can earn ourselves a little bit of money but as you can see that little dude is in the middle there, just chilling out at the moment. So that's one. Now let's move on and see if we can get ourselves a um, anaconda, because that was another animal that was suggested to us. Um, so let's have a look at the yellow anaconda. Oh, I've done that completely wrong, haven't I? Uh, yellow anaconda at the bottom. Uh, so... Uh, do you know what? We can actually spend some conservation. Whoa, look at that one. Zero years old. <laughs> Literally just born. Um, so yeah, let's let's actually take you. And we're going to place the yellow anaconda in here next to the frogs. Um, we've got that problem again where the walls are concerned. And I'm going to have to sort that out. Um, but it is something that I can do. Uh, in a moment. So 25 to 30, 80 to 90 so let's sort that out first so we'll go 28 and we will go 85 lovely job that's all sorted out um so let's add let's add some stuff to this exhibit we're going to put it over that side we'll have the basking lamp there as well and then we will go with a nice plant and then as far as the windows are concerned We go with the 3D there and we go with the 3D there and we go with the 3D there. So we've got to move that piece of wall a little bit. Um, so we'll get that done in a moment. Um, it shouldn't be too difficult a problem to sort out. So, yep, there we go. That's the yellow anaconda in here as well, ladies and gents. So um, I hope you're loving, loving, loving that. Um, and then we've just got one more animal to add in, in here. Now, someone said D.O. And I don't know what, what D.O. is. Um, so, there's nothing here for D.O. Um, desert, it might be desert actually. Desert. No, there's nothing here. So, I, I don't know what that person was suggesting um, so instead I'm just gonna make the decision and I am gonna put in uh, let's put in this iguana a bit of me wants to move the boa constrictor in here we just need to sort this education out so let's do that um, I'm gonna do that I'm gonna move this boa constrictor now if you don't like this idea then that is fine oh um, how do we do that how do we just move the animal Right, move. We're going to move Ricardo over here. Because I think he'll just fit better over here, personally. I think he fits in with what we've got over here a bit more. Uh, whoops. 
I'll get there in a minute, ladies and gents. So, oh, we're going to have to move that piece of wall as well. Had some real issues with the walls, unfortunately. So, um, let's just check this. 23 to 31 and 60 to 80. So, let's get that done. Um, there we go. And then uh, let's just sort his layout out. So, we'll put that in. Um, I think we had a big twig like that and we had the basking lamp at the back so there we go we've moved ricardo i think he will fit in better uh over here because we've got the two snakes and we've got frogs either side i actually think um that's just a better look and then over here we're gonna put the um we're gonna put that iguana and i'm gonna go with the conservation points one just to save our cash at the moment and there we have it so let's check all of his stuff first was it to 60 50 to 60 so we're actually going to put that at 55 And then the temperature needs to be a little higher. So let's put the temperature up, ladies and gents. There we go. Put it up to 28. And then, uh, yeah, we'll get, we'll get all this stuff sorted out. Then. So let's give him a big big log at the front we'll put the rock there and we'll put the basking lamp over over the back there so there we go we've got another iguana so we've actually got the two iguana species next to each other i think that works really nicely um i think it just works a bit better where the where the conservation center is concerned uh, so they're going to work together We've got all that in there. I've got to sort those two little bits of wall out, um, but I can do that, um, you know, in, in a moment uh, behind the scenes. Uh, so we've got the frog there, two the snakes there, and um, we've got the uh, gear monsters in there, ladies and gents. So I think we can all agree that everything is looking fine and a dandy. Um, I'm really, really happy with how this has come along. Um, I think it's really, really looking nice. So, um, yeah, there we go. And we've got our two tortoises in here as well. So that's fantastic to see, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Um, so what I need to say now is do all the nitty gritty stuff at the end of the episode. So we've got all those animals added. We've done all the building that you wanted me to do. As you can see, the money has skyrocketed up um, during the course of us doing this little live uh, section and putting the animals in. Um, I'm not sure what you guys think about me doing the animals while we're paused, but um, I don't really know. Um, they're not really building are they i want to be able to do this with you like placing the animals in and do all that interactive stuff because you know at the end of the day this is your zoo as much as it is um as it is mine but my friends we are coming to the end of today's episode so it means we've got some questions uh to put forward to you guys um the only other thing though i am going to throw out to you is that someone left me a comment for me to answer they said as they were in control uh, they were going to throw a question to me and i had to answer it now you're going to see it on your screen now ladies and gents and it's essentially that a crocodile was found in a sewer and uh, they've given us the option to rescue it a was to accept and b was to reject now of course we are conservation center we started out as a rescue home so i am gonna pick a that is what we're gonna do now the thing i'm gonna put to you guys though and i'm gonna do it by way of a poll is what type of crocodile was it was it a saltwater crocodile or a gharial? Uh, you're going to see the poll above right now, my friends. Make sure you vote on it. Tell me which crocodile it was. And then next episode, we will adopt one of those species. And hopefully, we'll have enough space to put it in the zoo. And that comes to the next question that I'm going to put forward to you, ladies and gents. And you're going to see that by way of a poll above right now as well. And that is simply the question we're going to ask every single episode. 
Do we move forward 10 years? It's a simple yes or no. Get voting on the poll. That's above now, my friends. And uh, we can then see what we will be doing next episode. And to go alongside that, for the people that vote yes, I need you to pick a square. I know that some of you may have picked uh, already last episode, but feel free to pick again because obviously the number with the most votes is the number that we're going to go with. So once again, you've got square one. Square two, square three, square four, square five, square six, square seven. Those are the squares that you need to write in the comment section if you are one of those people that votes yes to move forward 10 years. So my friends, I guess there is nothing left to say but for us to close out today's episode. It really was an episode of DIY and home improvements, but they were all very, very good home improvements uh, and suggestions as voted for by you. Um, I've got to move those two little pieces of wall. I might potentially just stick that doorway in um, for the zookeeper. But other than that, I won't be touching the zoo until I read your comments and I see what you suggest for next time. And uh, once again, there will be a comment that I write pinned to the top of today's episode. So you can see all of the little things uh, that I'll need from you between now and next episode but my friends i am done and dusted if you are brand new to the channel please consider hitting that subscribe button so that you can keep up with this fantastic series and all the other zoo uh, planet zoo stuff i'm going to be putting on the channel if you've enjoyed it make sure you hit the like button um, hit the bell notification button to never miss an episode and you'll find all of the uh, information on the series all of my socials and my discord in the description box below but my friends until next time make sure you're voting on all those polls getting your comments in below uh, and you make sure you stay an extra I'll see ya real, real soon.